old computers, VCRs, analog television sets. What do you do with old electronics when they no longer function or are needed? The Solid Waste Agency of Northern Cook County, or SWANK, has a solution to keep these items out of landfills. We talked with Mary Allen, SWANK's Education Coordinator, about electronic recycling options. Since 1999, SWANK has provided collections for um, end-of-life electronics and computers. Um, what we found with the one-day events were um, there were limitations. There were long lines, not everybody could make it on that day. It was an annual or biannual event, so if you had something to get rid of um, today, there were very few options. And so what we did last year is we established several permanent drop-off locations for computers and electronics. What it does is provide a more comprehensive collection system as well as complement the one-day events. Any resident that lives in a Swank member community can bring their computers and electronics currently to two sites. Mount Prospect residents can drop off electronics every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at their Glenview Transfer Station at 1151 North River Road across from Maryville Academy. Back in the 1990s, um, the US EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, had done research and found that electronics was the largest growing part of our waste stream. As technology was um, rapidly getting better, price points were coming down for consumers to purchase them, there were a lot of um, unused, unwanted, end-of-life things that were going in the landfill. And due to potentially hazardous materials in the components and also recoverable materials, when there's a recycling option or a reuse option, it's best to utilize those as opposed to landfilling. Disposal should be our last choice. Um, but what really has set a new precedent here in the state of Illinois for electronics recycling is legislation. In 2009, um, Illinois became the 16th state to um, draft legislation that in um, January 1st of 2012 will ban um, a lot of computer, uh, mostly computer monitors and televisions from entering our landfills. So it's important to develop the infrastructure now to collect them so we don't see them in our backyards and our ditches and not having an option um, for our residents to dispose of them and recycle them properly. Many electronics have hazardous materials that shouldn't go into our landfills because they later end up in our ecosystem. Mary explains what some of these items are. If you take, um, say, a monitor, per se, because monitors have the cathode ray tubes, which are, contain mercury, that has potential hazardous um, materials in it, so they need to be removed and processed and, and recycled. Um, there's also plastics. Um, there's copper, there's um, different kinds of metals, and then there's also on the screens and then glass flame retardants that can be hazardous. So there's a, a menagerie of a lot of different um, pieces of parts. And what an electronics recycler does is when the, when the computers go back to their facility, um, everything is disassembled. It gets sorted and then some of it gets pre-processed, some of it gets boxed and sorted, and then they market it for recycling. There are also valuable materials in electronics that can be recycled and reused. Um, the electronics recyclers, um, it, it's actually a big business. There are, a lot of, there are competitive electronics recyclers, and if they weren't making money, they wouldn't be in the business. And so what they're able to do is um, offset the cost of some of the high expense kinds of things to recycle, like the CRT tubes, um, where they can recover some of the metals or they can recover some of the plastics. And that's where there's value for them. Not every electronic device is available for recycling at the moment. Here is a list of acceptable items. Computers, both PCs and laptops, computer monitors, DVD players, DVR cable boxes, fax machines, mobile phones, MP3 players, PDAs, computer peripherals like mice, keyboards, and drives, printers, scanners, TVs, 
VHS players and video game consoles. Mary reminds us once again just why it's so important to recycle. SWANK provides programs for our member communities that not only reduce waste but toxicity. And in our daily habits, just because we can throw something away doesn't mean that we should. And if each one of us looks to see how better we can be with reducing, reducing, and recycling, um, certainly we will do our part to contribute less to the landfill and also to the preservation of conservation of resources and our environment. And that's what is encouraged. For more information about electronic recycling or any of the many services offered by Swank, go to the Swank website at www.swank.org.